Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-6362, Containment Class, Keter, Disruption Class, Vlam, and Risk Class, Danger. Special Containment Procedures Foundation Web Crawler IOBRKR is to monitor search engines, forums, and psychiatric records for any information potentially relating to SCP-6362. If investigation of a flagged post suggests a genuine SCP-6362-A instance, they are to be recovered immediately. Recovered SCP-6362-A instances must be under constant surveillance. Their containment cells are to be fully covered by cameras. When not in their containment cell, an SCP-6362-A instance must be accompanied by at least one person at all times. These containment procedures are untested and speculative, as a living SCP-6362-A instance has never been recovered. Description SCP-6362-A designates anyone affected by SCP-6362. Criteria for becoming an SCP-6362-A instance, if any exist, are unknown. During an SCP-6362 event, three to seven adult humans, designated 6362-B, will appear near SCP-6362-A. SCP-6362-B instances have been recorded to appear behind or within any object that can reasonably conceal them, i.e. within locked rooms, on balconies, under countertops, within cupboards, or behind shower curtains. SCP-6362-B instances may also appear directly behind SCP-6362-A, though this is rare. SCP-6362-B instances are typically male and are always fully clothed. Their ethnicity, physical build, and overall appearance vary. They have never been recorded to vocalize, emote, or attempt to communicate in any way. After appearing, all instances of SCP-6362-B will converge on SCP-6362-A and physically assault them. For an SCP-6362 event to occur, an SCP-6362-A instance must be conscious and unseen by any other human. SCP-6362 events occur in intervals lasting anywhere from one year to two weeks. No method of consistently triggering an SCP-6362 event is currently known. An SCP-6362 event will end immediately if any of the following conditions are met. SCP-6362-A loses consciousness. SCP-6362-A dies. Another human observes an instance of SCP-6362-B and all instances of SCP-6362-B are terminated. When an SCP-6362 event ends, any remaining SCP-6362-B instances disappear, leaving no physical trace of their existence. No blood, clothing, or hair belonging to an instance of SCP-6362-B has ever been recovered. However, any injuries sustained by SCP-6362-A or damage done to the environment will remain. All information on SCP-6362 has originated from journal entries, forum posts, psychiatric evaluations, and letters. These documents are rare, as most SCP-6362-A instances are terminated during SCP-6362 events before recording anything useful about the anomaly. Addendum 6362-1, 1998-1114 the following police report was filed by Officer Larry Marks of the Los Angeles Police Department. On 11-14-1998, at approximately 22.30 hours, I responded to a reported shooting at Council Street and North Benton Way. Upon arriving at the house, the occupant, Jacob Harris, stepped outside and ran towards me screaming for help. His head was bleeding and his left eye was swollen. Harris claimed that he had just been attacked by several strangers. He claimed that he shot two before being disarmed by them and running outside. I summoned an ambulance to the scene. Upon brief investigation, I found no bodies or evidence of forced entry. I did find Harris's pistol on the floor near the front entrance, which I claimed as evidence. The ambulance arrived and paramedics placed Harris inside. 
There is nothing further to report. After questioning, Harris was placed in the care of a psychiatric hospital. He expired six months later within a locked bathroom. Cause of death was listed as a crushed trachea in addition to several other minor wounds. No evidence or suspects were found. Addendum 6362-2, 2001, 02-11. The following is a handwritten letter written by 32-year-old Daniel Wallace. It is addressed to his family home. No return address is listed. Lisa, I'm sorry for leaving, but I couldn't handle it anymore. I'm not crazy, not like you think I am. It's real, maybe not to you or the kids, but it is to me. People keep breaking in and hurting me. I know it sounds crazy. You look at me like I'm crazy. Ben is scared of me. My own kid is scared of me. But I didn't break my arm or tear the bathroom door off its hinges or give myself a concussion. It's been them. These people just show up. I don't know how they get in. It's like they just appear out of nowhere. They just come out of nowhere, always when I'm alone. This place isn't possible to find. And if they do... God forbid, I'm going to kill them. There's a gun in every room. I carry one with me all the time. I won't let it happen again. This cabin isn't possible to find. When I see a stranger, any stranger, I'll know what's happening. I'll kill them. I've got enough food to last for years. Mirrors on every wall. Two locks and a deadbolt on every door. They're never going to sneak up on me. Please don't try to visit me. I love you all. I'm going to drive into town and drop this letter off, and after that, I'm not leaving this cabin again. I can't. I love you, Daniel. Two days after the letter was written, Wallace died when his vehicle swerved off the road and collided with a concrete barrier. Official cause of death was head trauma. However, he was found with back, arm, and neck injuries that were inconsistent with a car accident. The letter was found in the passenger seat deemed by law enforcement to be accidental. Addendum 6362-3-2017-0415 The following is a handwritten letter addressed to the Pentagon building. The author is unknown. I killed them all. One broke a window and slid inside, like a cat. The other two kicked my front door off its hinges. I killed all three. God made man, sure. But Samuel Colt made them equal. I want you to know that the last one took a long time to die. Shot him right in the gut. He just bled and stared at me. There wasn't anything behind those eyes. Nothing human. He didn't tell me anything. Whatever training they get, it's good. But mine is better. And when he died, they all just poofed out of existence. Just like the last few times. No bodies, no blood. Can't wait for you to try again, fuckers. Attempts to trace the sender have failed. Investigations show that neither the Pentagon nor any branch of the U.S. government is connected to SCP-6362. Addendum 6362-4-2018-03-29 The following is the only recoverable entry from a journal belonging to Robert Paisley. My neighbor... He's been outside for too long. Doesn't take that long to mow a lawn. Doesn't take that long to mow a lawn. He just keeps stopping and looking paranoid or pretending to clear grass from the blades. He's just trying to look towards my house. He's casing it. He's getting ready to break in. I know it. The last few times it's been him. I know it's been him. He's pulling the strings, telling them when I'm alone and when my wife is away. They just break in and beat me. They don't say anything. This has happened five times and nobody fucking believes me, but last time was different. They were beating me and he interrupted it. He just walked into my house, said he heard something, but that's bullshit. The second he came in, they went away. He made them go away. It was his fucked up way of telling me who's in control. The journal was recovered following its submission as evidence in the case of Marcus Anderson's murder. Anderson lived across the street from Paisley and was found stabbed to death in his home. Paisley has yet to be found. 
This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Zargaron, Big Sip, O Crop Guy, The Morrigan, James Saba, Irish Wristwatch, Lost Boy, Signar, Your Local Foundation Agent, Zazapan, Worthy Fire, Dr. Wolf 13, Cupster, Dean Dingus, that Loser, Cassadia Cams, Braided Peach, James Wright, Rowan O'Brien, Kegnack, Grimnir, Extra Moments 123, and Swift Raw. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.